what I'm gonna do next is add the final enamel layer. And I'm also gonna be using the Evanes. This is B1 enamel, right? Okay, and this is 80% opaque. Remember the dentin was 90%. I love it for its property because it masses fractures uh, in class fours and masses dark teeth sometimes. But now, because enamel is more translucent, it's 80%. I'm going to make a little ball here. So I'm going to take the, and you see I, my tip never leaves the, the increment. And I put it on my spoon and I open up the mylar and I put it on here, adapt it. And I force this material with this spoon into the proximal. I want it everywhere. And you can even put your, use your finger to help spread it initially. And you could adapt it cervically. That's the and then I take my, I just spread it out. This is called a pull through technique. And I'm going to do it for both mesial and distal. Let's start with the mesial. So what I do is I grab the palatal portion of the mylar. Now remember, this is in the sulcus, right? Now I'm going to drag. Watch what happens to the composite. I'm going to bend this facial portion. Okay, you see how that dragged it in there, and I'm going to get the other one. Bend it here. There. I have a very intimate contact there. I'm just using this instrument just to spread this material. It's nice, doesn't slump. You see I'm dragging the excess to the incisal. And I can reference to the adjacent tooth. It's a little over contour, which is fine. But the shape is forming. The line angles are being formed. And I can use this instrument to take the excess away because the incisal edge is already established. One more time, go through. 